Hello, here we are with an unboxing and hands-on with the all-new Motorola Moto G, also known as the Moto G second generation or 2014 model. There's some key differences uh, that we'll come on to as we complete this unboxing and hands-on. So first things first then, we can see that this is the XT1068 Moto G second generation. We've got a quick rundown of some of the specifications here. So eight gig of internal storage, and we've got the GSM and WCDMA bands here. So you can see it's a fairly sort of standard Motorola packaging that we've seen of late. Let's open up the box and show you the phone, or well, we'll show you it in just a moment. Included in the box, Fairly basic box contents as we've come to expect with Motorola products now. We've got a USB to micro USB cable. We've got a sort of getting started guide. And then we've got uh, sort of a little warranty information book. And that's it. And then we've got the handset itself here. So this is the Motorola Moto G second generation. Key differences between this and the original Moto G are the screen size. So it's gone from 4.5 to 5 inches that we see here. We've now got dual or stereo speakers. We've got dual SIM capability in this model, so two SIM cards. There's eight gigabytes of internal storage as well as a micro SD memory card slot. We have on the back here an eight megapixel camera. We have an LED flash, we've got the Motorola logo, we've got a soft touch back cover. And if I just turn this round and pull away here, we've got a removable back cover. And you can actually interchange the covers. You've got different cover covers available in different colors. Uh, and these can be bought separately and added onto the back of the device here. So you can see that we've got SIM 2 and SIM 1. So we can have two SIM cards in this device at any point. And then we've got the SD slot up here for the additional memory. So that's it. The battery, which is 2,070 milliamp hours, is actually built in. It can't be removed by you or I as the user. On the bottom of the device, we've got the micro USB port. On the right side, we've got the volume keys and the power button. On the top, we've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and we've got a microphone. And on the left side, it's completely flush. There's a little bit of curvature uh, to it there. Feels quite nice and comfortable in the hand. It weighs in 149 grams and is uh, just shy of 11 millimeters thick. So not a bad little handset all told. We've got a two megapixel front facing camera up there. And on the front here, we've still got the screen protector on, but uh, there is actually um, Corning Gorilla Glass 3. So very quickly, you've got a basically stock Android experience with only a couple of uh, alterations from Motorola themselves. So if we go into the app drawer here, we've got alert and assist, and we've got Motorola Migrate, which uh, Motorola have added on for transferring your data. But everything else is pretty much stock Android version 4.4.4. This will be upgradable to Android L. You've got your YouTube, your Google Music, Play Movies, Games, Newsstand, your Maps, your Google Plus, your camera applications and everything like that. You've got an FM radio here. You've got your standard sort of messaging and Hangouts service. Let's just go into the settings a little bit and show you some of the information here. So about the phone, Moto G second generation, Android 4.4.4. Of the memory, if we go into uh, that here for you under storage, you can see um, around about five gig is actually available of the eight gig that comes pre-installed on the handset. You've got your various sort of basic Android settings. You've got 3G connectivity on here, not uh, 4G but you do have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and you've got your dual SIM settings. Now we've got no SIM cards inserted in this device at the moment but you can configure all of the settings on the Moto G right here um, for your sort of benefit and customize it the way you want. So that's just a quick unboxing and hands-on with the Motorola Moto G second generation. We'll be back shortly with a full review of this handset uh, so be sure to check that out. In the meantime, you can pick this up for just £150 at www.clove.co.uk. Thanks for watching.